Ladies and gentlemen, this is a dream come true. Tom and I had hoped someday to build a facility that would be equal to the quality of horses that uh, race in this great event here tomorrow. And if Dina had let that horse throw a shoe in front of her, we'd have had another great horse here, but those things happen. Uh, we've had some great horses race here, and I'm not going to go back because I was going to forget some. Uh, my father bred a mare that won a heat in the very first little brown jug, his lady. So uh, people have asked me what, what jug I thought was the most impressive, and that was for me because my dad owned Grateful Lady, and she was the dam of his lady, and that started it all. Uh, Hank Thompson was uh, uh, very encouraging to, to ask me to help him to bring the Tom Harmon National Radio Show here the year that Brett Hanover won. We scraped the racetrack, two or three feet of the mud off of it that morning. By mid-afternoon, they put water back on it again. So, and uh, since uh, our great friend uh, Hank has gone on and his son Tom has taken over and was the, uh, the emissary of the Little Brown Jug and encouraged me to develop a, a sponsorship program, we've been very successful. And uh, we thank all of you who have contributed to that program. And this is the result of uh, not a lot of hard work, if you want to know. I went to uh, South Florida this winter and knocked on a lot of doors, and I didn't get turned away one time. But when I got up north of Palm Beach, uh, I found a star. And uh, as you can see, uh, this is the result of uh, the contributions that all of you have made that was uh, Primarily responsible for this great barn is Tom Walsh, our good friend who has been associated with two jug winners, Magical Mike, last year Armbro Operative. Uh, when, when we started this, the assistant, uh, the, the, the vice president of the Delaware County Agriculture Society, Bill Milhone, who's the chairman of the grounds and buildings and facilities here, uh, suggested that Dean Fraker and his firm be considered as the contractor and you can see the results. Uh, Bill Milhone has put in hours and hours and hours of work and doesn't get compensated for it. So I would like to ask all of you to accompany me in thanking Bill Milhone. Now, Tom, would you come forward, please? Oh, you're going to do this to Bill first? Okay. Bill? On behalf of your hard work and your dedication and uh, what a pleasure it was to work with you. I'd like to present you with this uh, photograph of the building and uh, this year's piece of memories that we had together. Appreciate yeah, it. Thank, thank you very much. I just, I just like to say one thing. Um, I tried to get a dollar and ten cents out of every dollar you gave us. <laughs> <laughs> and he did too. Okay, Tom, if you would, please. Go ahead, Dean. On behalf of Delaware Village System, Mr. Walsh, we appreciate your generosity and support of the Little Brown Judge, and we would make this presentation you to use uh, for your memories and contribution to Delaware and the Little Brown Judge, and we appreciate it very much, and thank you. Thank you. I hope you all have an opportunity to view these plaques here, especially the one behind me, which recognizes Tom Walsh and his great contribution, and then all of the other contributors over here, Dr. J. Glenn Brown representing Armstrong Brothers. Uh, uh, I hope that uh, the people from CSX Table would be here. I know that uh, uh, there are two or three others that aren't here that we had hoped would be here, but nonetheless, these are the people that helped contribute to this uh, great facility. Thank you all for coming. We yeah, Tom Thompson, where are you, pal? <laughs> Tom, I would like to present this to you and the fair board for allowing Delaware Building Systems to be a part of this project, and uh, we certainly appreciate the opportunity. And because of this project, we have many friends to be thankful for. Thank you Thank very much. Thank you so much, Dean. We'll hang this in the log cabin with pride. Sir? <clears throat> and there you had it, the dedication ceremony for the...